Hey guys, Captain Blackbeard here. Welcome back to another episode on the channel. Today, we are with Ticklefingers, our theory. Got this in the last episode. We had a theory egg, and that was great. And so thank you to the person who gave us a theory egg. We had a log last episode after I got the theory egg, but that was fine because I realized there's things on the New Beginnings Discord where in bot commands, if you do like the exclamation point and work, you can actually earn money that way. And not just like get uh, coins from events. So that's really cool. But yeah, I don't think it's like the stats, like 350, but it does way more. Like this thing, if it does like the double swipe uh, claw attack, it can kill Rex in two or three, I think. But you also get killed by Rex in two or three, so. Yeah. Also, I have never seen a fairy not get leg break from the first bite from a Rex. And that's sad. That is really sad. We are female, so we can nest. That's good. But we did log in during a time where it's like night right now. But also, if it's weird if you think about it, look at this. It's military time, so you minus 12 right here. It is 5, almost 6 right now. This is how dark it is already. So that's, it's really weird. We'll probably see it when it's day, or we go on a food run. We are back, and... Yeah, we just need some water. Just the... Uh, also... If you don't know how to do this, or actually if you do know how to do this, uh, comment below. Because I know how to do it, and I'm wanting, to, I'm wanting to know how many people know how to do this. But if you want me to, if you want me to show you how to do this, then you can. I could actually just tell you, honestly. But fine, I'm just gonna tell you. Uh, basically, you nest someone in, but they inject a different dino, and then you have them in their group still. You just don't like classify as a theory or whatever dino it is. I think, or it's uh, the other way. Where the mom has a different one. I think it might be the mom. Yeah, I think it's the mom. But who knows? Oh, there you go. Oh, that sucks. Anyway, I'm just gonna get some more water. What water we have right now? 70%? Come on, there you drink. Put your whole head on. Get that dirt. That's how you know when you're really thirsty. You stick your whole head under. Oh, but yeah, we got a pretty big hurt here. Para wanted death. Sarah's not eating the para. Dillos were here, I think, but one second. There we go, much better. And now, I think we are. I think we're good. Now we can go get water. Yeah. But also, as you can see, like, fairy, really fast, like, look at this. Very fast, fairy. Look at the dibble. Oh, yeah. We got a trike somewhere. Anyway, just gonna get some food. But, yeah. Did a trike come? I don't know if the trike joined or not, but... So anyway, here's a push. We're about like 60%, but... That's kind of the swamp down there. Also, you know what would be cool is if... So, like, you see the island over there, past, like, the cliff, that's in the, the salt water. If they had a little... Uh, way you could get down there, like teeny tiny way where you could get down there and actually get across over there. That would be awesome. But also, like, admins would be able to get, be able to be hypos, but only on that island. And then it could just be, like, island of hypos. What's going on? I don't know. I don't some games. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but 
Barry kind of seems a little bit slower right now. Also, I don't know what these dillos are doing. But... Anyway. Actually, let's see. If we can get the local to go away, and then how we get up? Yeah, there we go. Now we can get up. Also, probably in part two of Theory, uh, Tickle Fingers, I think. Yes, Tickle Fingers. Uh, we'll probably move to Great Falls, maybe. Because that's probably going to be the best place for Theory, honestly. So then we get more places to run, and it's the best place to break leg, honestly. But, yeah. This is basically what it is like to live in a herd. Unless anything, like, fights with you. You basically can't do anything other than eat, uh, drink, and basically go like or grow. That's basically it. But yeah, this is a pretty nice herd. We've got Dibbles, we've got Shayots, a bunch of Therese, a Trike, basically. I don't know if they're It's mobility is kind of what I think it would be lacking in. Like, Aloe. Aloe's bigger and it's way faster. Like, it's ambush is like way faster. And for its size, it's not ha doesn't have that much height. Also, Dillos do have the very Niche. It has a, it does way it has way less bite force than even like Utah Raptors, which are like the same size and weight class kind of. But still, that Dillos can still get destroyed by Utahs. Hopefully in a Verma since they have the or you could just like instantly turn. Uh, that should be worked out for Dillos, but it's just kind of what we do. Got uh, I should try it. Also, Hidden is a pretty good area. Oh, I like this massive area. We could even go back up there, even if we wanted to. Like if there was a massive, massive herd, it could like stretch all the way back up there. Also, this area does have like a massive amount of bushes over the hill. Do these bushes? No. Might go get a small one. I think we'll just go get a small one. Yeah. I feel like there he is. I don't think it was this slow. I don't know. It's weird, but we're just going to go get a bush, probably. Small little bush. Don't need a big bush. Is that bush? Also, Theory can't smell for some reason. Also, another kind of bone I have to pick with the game is uh, rain. But it's raining, you can't smell at all. But in real life, rain just heightens all this. Because it's water, and water heightens the uh, smell of things. Like, put water on, let's say. Hmm. Actually, I don't know if that actually has a smell. A flower. Yeah, flower. And it, it does smell. Like, you could smell it more. And in this game, you can't smell all during the rain. So, I don't know. Hopefully in a Verma, they change that, I guess. That's where the 
Spelling power is greater, I guess. Anyway, it's basically all we were doing. So again, it doesn't have the Utah, but so let me see. I do have three eggs. But I'm not gonna use those quite yet. And we'll see if it takes us anywhere. Sarah is going after Bill's. It should be good, hopefully. The Dillos can't really do anything since turn radius and bite is in favor of Sarah. Not really. chance to do it over there. Who knows? But yeah, look at this. Look at these giant claws. Taking you through the chest, that would suck. You'd just be hung up on it. It wouldn't even let you down. These things are really strong. Like the middle one as well is like super long. That thing would go right through you. Yep. Almost instant death. Maybe like a crossbow bolt, but like fired from a 4.5 pound or ton uh, murder chicken that's running right at you. So it would like it would. Well, you know what would be good? If someone made an animation about that, and it was a murder chicken running after you, and it, like if it went on head on, and you stood there, and it ran into you, and pierced you with that, like it would slap you so far. And then they would add like the KO sound effect or whatever. Sarah. From the bottom. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but all the way at the top of the hill. But. Anyway. Let's we'll see where it takes us. Just started to raid, actually. But that is probably where we're going to have to leave off the episode. We are out of time, currently. And, yeah. If you like the video, like and subscribe. Get this out to more people. We are trying to aim for 100 uh, subscribers by the end of the month. And that would be great, because we're like 88 right now. And we're so close. We're actually maybe going to beat Amy's Gaming Adventures. Because they're at 98, but if we can give them two more, then she might beat us. So, we shall see. Anyway, hope so at the end. See ya.